for I, for you, for us, me, Psyche, everyone. Hello, my name is Empress Pyra, and welcome to my channel. I'm going to start by saying thank you. Thank you to everyone who's followed. Thank you to everyone who's watched and everyone who shares, either in comments or in any other way. I deeply, deeply appreciate all of you. There are some massive topics and ideas that I've explored and thought about. And I've been questioning what is really going on in the world? And one of the things that I keep asking myself is, what are we doing to everything in the world and to everyone? I mean, the human race, of course. We as a species on this planet. So this video, as an invitation and a welcome to everyone who watches it, is meant to ask a single, simple question. What is being human? What does it mean to be human? And my focus here is to create a space over the next couple minutes where that question can be explored. So part one is the intro that you're watching right now. Part two will be a meditation. And I'm not... <laughs> I can't claim to say that I have any meditation ex um, expertise, but I have studied it for many years. I've read up a lot about it, and I know at least enough to help guide you through some basic ideas and a very simple little exercise that helps me. And if at any point you would like to skip to any one of these sections, introduction, meditation, or questions. Feel free to look at the, the comments section below and you'll find little timestamps with each section. And you can just click the timestamp and it'll take you to any of the segments that you'll see contained within this video. I think we all have the ability to create calmness in ourselves and also for other people, but that's another topic for another day. And I believe even with disruption, there are things we can do that help us stay calm and balanced and more in control of our own selves, our minds, our emotions, our bodies, even with significant disruptions. Our bodies, according to research and all these sorts of things, our bodies are equipped with those mechanisms that we have it within ourselves, our hardwiring, so to speak, to create calmness and balance. So if you haven't done so already, feel free to sit or stand or lie down in your most comfortable way. 
allow your body to just rest how it wants to. When I start for myself, I give myself some statements that help me frame uh, to frame the moment, to create a kind of space. And you can say or think whichever ones work best for you, or you can use your own. This is just a rough guide to create a space, a beneficial space. Number one, I am breathing as deeply as I can. And at first, even if there's stress or other things going on, saying that I'm breathing as deeply as I can makes it okay, makes it okay to be in whatever spot we're in. Sometimes when there's chaos or stress, it's easy to lose track of that idea that we can be calmer and more at ease and that that can actually help as opposed to inviting frantic chaos into our hearts because our heart space, our emotions, our mental space, we always own. It always belongs to us. And you can actually change your thinking and change your beliefs based on what you tell yourself, what I tell myself. And even though I'm not perfect and I don't always follow my own intellectual ideas. <laughs> it's always there for me in the background that every situation has the opportunity to create more peace and more comfort and more balance. No matter how crazy it may be. And asking and saying, I am breathing as deeply as I can. Because breathing is good. Breathing brings about calmness. And so that's sort of the first statement that I use when I want to create a space for meditation. Number two. This is where my body is. And this statement asks a few questions. What is the rhythm of my own breathing, my own heart rate, my own posture, my own thoughts, the environment around me? And any sensory input. And it just is. Without judgment. Freely. Calmly. Easily. To get a sense for the space. To observe. And each idea can flow into the next and create sort of a stillness here for both of us. And it's okay to do that. And it's good to do that. Even if it's not a deep or 
really focused meditation. <sighs> Even if it isn't that, that's okay. It can be as simple as it needs to be. And to just be aware of the environment and the body. So, number three. Any disruption, I will acknowledge, take care of, and then when it's taken care of, I let it go. Any form of disruption, and I've mentioned that already previously. Whether the disruption are movements, thoughts, surface thoughts that can intrude or just exist in the mind. Outside events too, like people making noises or speaking directly to us or other noises. like the sound of a distant lawnmower that you may, may or may not hear. And return to this space from. And that's the easiest way to deal with a disruption. And it's okay to pause the space, the space here that we've created, that you can create any time for yourself. You can add whatever statements you'd like to make for yourself. Bring into it whatever you need or want. This is a space for being and breathing.